A big touchdown is touching off a lot of excitement in space. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Celebrations erupted at NASA's Mission Control a few hours ago. The rover Perseverance successfully landed on Mars. And we are just getting a look at some of the first images sent back to Earth. The rover plans to collect samples to see if life ever existed there. Spacecraft from China and the United Arab Emirates entered the red planet's orbit last week. Amitabh Ghosh is joining me now from here in Washington. He's a space scientist working on NASA Mars missions since 1997. Uh, first, I got to ask you about your reaction uh, when you saw that the Mars, uh, when the Perseverance landed on Mars. Well, you've already seen the first photo, but I just want to get your thoughts on what happened today. Well, so, you know, it's very hard to uh, uh, explain the feeling. Um, Think of everybody in that room probably spent the last seven or eight years of their life um, doing this. And so it all comes down to those seven minutes uh, when the rover goes to the atmosphere. And so that seven minutes might mean that all their labor went um, went, went to waste or, uh, or you have a live vehicle on the surface of Mars. So um, it was very very gut-wrenching you know the particularly the minutes before uh, after the crew's stage separation uh, the last stage of landing was kind of a little new where they would sense the terrain um, so it's very gut-wrenching so if even if the rover is, is impacts the ground at maybe uh, 100 miles an hour from the initial speed of maybe uh, 30,000 miles an hour it still is going to not survive the instruments will not survive so uh, it, it's a very tough to explain feeling of relief. Right, I mean, it was so quiet and everyone is so uh, focused on what's happening. How important is this mission? You mentioned that it takes many, many years. I think I heard you say seven or eight years of right. work to get to this point. What is being done in that time? So, you know, you have to um, build all these instruments, right? You have amazing instruments. So, for example, this rover has a sample caching system. So it, they will pick up, uh, they will drill, pick up uh, samples of soil or rock um, in the tubes and then seal the tubes and leave it for another rover to come by and get it and return it to Earth. So you, you have to get everything. So 99% right means 1% failure, which, which might mean the mission will break. So you have to get it 100% right most of the time. So it is a the due diligence is absolutely um, a must. And uh, for example, you're trying to make an experiment about life. What if there was, um, you know, contaminants from Earth? Um, so you have to have your processes so that the spacecraft is probably sterilized, right? So all these tiny things add up. And so you have, yeah, it, it is a lot of work in the end. Uh, you know, as we speak, we have perseverance, but we also know that China has its own Mars mission, which we've discussed, and the UAE as well. So how do all of their goals complement each other, which each country is doing? Uh, or is this a competition? Uh, well, it is, in a sense, it's a competition. But I think if you talk to scientists, uh, I think they are looking for more data and more knowledge. And so it's a cooperation at that level. Um, so just remember, Mars is a very big planet. The surface area of Mars is equal to the surface area of Earth because, you know, most of Earth is oceans, right? So everybody is going to a different place. They're trying to do a different experiment. So the Mars has sufficient mystery for everybody. So um, I don't think it, it, it's kind of a competition that, you know, somebody does this and so. so and remember, all the discoveries are mostly serendipitous. You, you are going to find something which you were not looking for. Um, so I think it's all good. The international um, interest in Mars is all good. <laughs> There's plenty for everyone. I like that serendipitous. Amitabh Ghosh, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure.